Welcome to another Azure Guy video where hands-on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, Azure security engineer, and it's Azure solutions architect. CCAD sample question six, create a service account and assign to a pod. We're gonna create a new service account named backend team, print out the token for the service account in YAML format. Create a pod named backend that uses the image Nginx and an entity backend team for running processes. Next, you'll shell to the running container and print out the token of the service account. Okay, our first task is to create a new service account named Backend Team. It should be pretty straightforward. kubectl create service account. Let's do a help, because help is our friend. And it looks like it's gonna be pretty straightforward. All we have to do is add our name. So get rid of help. And back end team. And looks like I got create it. Just just verify. Get service account. And we're looking pretty good. Task one completes. Okay, task number two. Print out the token for the service account in YAML format. I'm gonna go ahead and clear my screen. Let's get a new screen and kubectl get service accounts and YAML. This should look really similar or familiar if you uh, I've gone through these in order. Uh, questions one through five. So it's gonna give us our YAML for the service account. And uh, looking for the token, there it is. So pretty, pretty, pretty good. So on to task number three. Okay, our next task is to create a pod using the image Nginx and then if I backend team for running processes. So let's do a cube CTL run. Uh, we want to call it backend. Oh, excuse me there. Run backend image equals nginx dry dash run equals clients and we'll send it out to a YAML into a file called q6.yaml all right so without looking at the YAML that's not going to contain our service account so using kubectl explain we're going to try to figure out where that goes. So cube exp explain pod, and we get the one, two, three, four, five main, or the five settings that go in pod. Uh, it's not gonna be under API version or kind, and probably not metadata. So I'm gonna try spec. It's gonna either gonna be metadata or spec, but I'm leaning towards, well, to spec. And we have service account name and service accounts. It looks like service account has been deprecated. So we're gonna use the word service account name under spec. So let's go to our YAML file, notepad. And underneath spec, we're gonna put I think it's a small s, big A, and big N, and it's back end dash team. 
Let's verify that. Yeah, big A, big N. Big A, big N. We'll save it. Let's minimize this. And we'll clear the screen and create our pod. Let me go ahead and delete delete my pod. So it's been left over. Create it, and there we go. We got it successful. And it looks like it's contained, and now it's running. So that's excellent. So that is task number three. Okay, on to our next task and final task. We're going to shell into the, the container slash pod and print a token of the service account. So we've done this a few times now. Name of the pod. IT for interactive. And bin slash sh. And where is the token? Well, if we go to, I'm gonna to try to see if I can figure it out. I think it's var. And then run. And then secrets. I'll list again, then CD Kubernetes. dot io. CD service account. And then there is token. Then we'll do a cat token. Enter. And there is our token. So question number six, done.